yesterday's price is not today's price. 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 I got off on the wrong stop because I was filming and now I'm gonna have to wait and take another train. It's crazy. How are you doing, man?
Yeah, so usually, usually the key is um, other people. No, no, um, Terraform is yeah, one of those things that gives us because the key is also the key. Hi amigos, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're doing good. A week ago, I received an email from a company and it read, Hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. I work for blah, blah, blah. We run websites such as blah, blah, blah or blah, 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 which together get more than 100 million visitors per month. We are blah, 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 blah. So when I read that email, I was like, oh shit, like I actually know these guys, I know the companies that they are talking about. So I was like, damn, if these guys that get hundreds of M's of users per month are interested in buying my company and adding that to their portfolio, even though I have no intentions to sell my company, I'm going to entertain a Zoom call and a conversation with them. So we jumped on a Zoom call and um, they kept asking me, listen, we're interested in buying your company and actually somebody on our team was the person who was telling us that, listen, you guys have to buy this company. So a person who uses Footy Amigo works at this company and was telling them, listen, you guys have to buy this company. It's so good. And I was like, yeah, thank you for all the kind words, but I don't have any plans to sell. And they kept saying, okay, cool. You know what? Let's sign an NDA and you can share some more information and you can hear the offer that we have. Maybe that is going to change your mind. So we signed an NDA. And in the next week or two weeks time, we're going to jump on a call where I'm going to share more information with them. And they're going to obviously gauge the offer that they want to put on the table. But the key thing here to note is there's a 98% chance I'm not going to sell the company, but it's a 2% chance that I'll consider selling. The reason for the 2% chance is this. Number one, if you remember in the last vlog, I talked about how we are currently building a new product that is in the same space as Futi Amigo, but it provides a slightly different solution. But the same customer base of people who use Futi Amigo are the same people who are going to use this. So this new startup is one of the reasons why I might consider selling Futi Amigo because when this goes live in the next two or three weeks, I'm going to be spending the next six months to a year just focused on this because this is a much delicious space and product that I'm so excited to launch. I'm going to put the logo up right now, but I can't share the name of the company or what the company is trying to do. But I'm going to share that in the next coming vlogs in the next one week or two weeks or whatever. In the next vlogs, I'm going to share the name when we go live. But the logo is right on the screen right now. So because I'm going to be launching this new product, that means if a company that is what's hundreds of M's is interested in buying Futi Amigo and then taking it to the moon and I will not be focusing on, on it for the next six months to a year. Maybe it's a good idea to sell it to them if, 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 if the offer that they put on the table is delicious. If they put an offer on the table that is so delicious that I can't say no to, then I will consider selling. So the two reasons is because one, I'm launching a new product that I'm so excited about and it's in the same space and I can take that to the moon much quicker. And secondly, if they put an offer on the table and say, this is what we want to put on the table, it's a big offer, take it right now, leave it. And I'm like, damn, man, I, I, could, really use, I could really use some M's right now. <laughs> like, I'm going to take the offer. But if the offer they put on the table is nothing that is... If it doesn't get me excited, I'm not going to take the offer regardless of how good it sounds now. Because the biggest fear that I have and I think most startup founders have is selling too soon, right? And I don't, I don't need to sell. I don't need to sell. There's a 98% chance I'm going to say no to them. But there's a 2% chance I'm going to say yes if they put a big boy offer on the table. So that is what I wanted to share in this vlog. Right now, the plan is to go get some lunch and break my fast. And secondly, I need to get a manicure done 
I don't know a place to get it done around this area, so I'm gonna have to Google and then find and then walk to the place. I'm just gonna find a place. I need to get my nails, you know, treated and then come back to the office and then round up the day. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted on how the conversations go. Remember, we have NDAs signed, so I can't share the name of the company, I can't share the offer, I can't share those, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? What's the word? What's, it's not secret information, sensitive information. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go get some lunch, let me get my nails done, and let's continue the vlog. <laughs> I should have taken my sunglasses. It's so sunny right now. I'm about to go get my, my nails done. I'm trying to find a place where I can get my nails done. Hi, hello, how are you? I wanna do my nails, please. Yes, and I would like to have a transparent polish, if you don't mind. Cheers. Cheers, thank you very much. Bye. Cheers, thank you very much. All right. Cheers, bro. Good night, boss. You too. Bye. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Good night, sir. <laughs> See you. Okay, that's it. 